Uh, Fiji Broadcasting Corporation would like to advise the following detailed discussions between FBC and the Ministry of Finance and taking into account the current government objectives in insurance, ensuring that public funds are effectively used, we advise a significant reduction in government funding uh, for the public service broadcasting for the upcoming uh, upcoming government of Fiji financial year, beginning on the 1st of August 2023. Initially, the PSB amount in the 2023 stroke 24 budget was announced at $10.4 million. We, ex we have successfully brought this down by 40% reduction. The achievement is a result of careful examination of our expenses and eliminating excessive spending such as executive luxury cars, wasteful and inefficient expenditure. During the first six months of 2023, we, are, we have also increased our revenue streams. This thorough review has enabled us to determine that six, $6.2 million is the estimated amount needed to continue our PSB obligations without any compromise to quality and diversity of content with no reduction in quality or delivery of our services. PSB primarily refers to our AM radio, that's Radio 1, Fiji 1, and Radio Fiji 2, but also includes the English radio station Gold FM and content on FBC TV. These stations reach in all corners of the country, deliver essential programs, mostly of non-commercial focus, including content that is of national importance and integral to nation building. It is important to note that AM radio stations like Radio 1 and Radio 2 offer uninterrupted coverage even in the remotest areas of Fiji. This coverage is made possible by PSB funds, which are crucial for operating the remote areas and hard to access equipment such as radio towers in such areas. A significant portion of these funds is allocated towards the energy costs and ensuring preventative and maintenance of broadcast infrastructure. We are pleased to share that the adjustments to our operational strategies are already showing positive results. As FBC announced earlier, that we are financially ahead by $1 million for the first six months of this year compared to the same period last year. The accomplishment is a testament to the tremendous work and dedication by our staff and management. We would like to continue to reassure all 220 staff of their job security as we continue in building a self-sustaining business while increasing our investment in technology, training and development. This was a long-term view uh, of decreasing our reliance on public service funds, i.e. government funds. Moving forward, FBC is committed to maintaining a tight rein on costs while improving the quality of our content and services. We are undertaking major investments in te technological infrastructure, enabling higher quality of content creation. Our goal is to continue to uphold a truly independent, fair and balanced service for news and current affairs. We thank you for your continued understanding and support as we transition towards a new face of prudent financial responsibility and a commitment to quality broadcasting including fulfilling our PSB obligations. Finally, on behalf of the board, management and staff, we would like to thank the Prime Minister as our Line Minister, and we would like to thank the Minister of Finance and their respective staff in having the collective confidence in FBC. Thank you. Sir, please. Well, thank you, um, uh, Mr. Chairman and uh, board members, uh, staff, uh, members of the media. Uh, before I uh, talk about FBC in particular, uh, let me say uh, that uh, as a government, um, we are very, very pleased uh, that uh, we've been able to get rid of the draconian media decree. Uh, as we had promised uh, when we were in opposition, uh, that we believe uh, the freedom uh, of media, uh, journalists, media organizations, the executives uh, in doing their work uh, in a fair, transparent, open and accountable manner is important, uh, critical for democracy, for development 
for our country. Uh, we are also, uh, I want to also take this opportunity to say that uh, we have had a very difficult uh, media environment. Uh, some of the uh, work that was done in the past, of course, uh, was uh, based on uh, what uh, the government at that time, you know, dictated and wanted to do. And we understand uh, the journalists, the media organizations, uh, and how difficult uh, the environment uh, it was for them to operate uh, independently uh, and uh, without any restriction. So as a government, uh, we are obviously very pleased uh, that uh, after so many years, uh, the media can feel the freedom, the uh, journalists can feel the freedom, uh, and we uh, as, uh, as a government uh, want to assure uh, everyone, including all the media organizations in this country, uh, that uh, that is what we are going to do uh, in terms of making sure that there is a, a level playing field. I also want to take this opportunity uh, personally uh, to thank all those media organizations that stood up, you know, despite all the difficulties, uh, dif despite all the uh, difficult laws that they had to navigate. Uh, some, of course, you know, went through uh, you know, persecution uh, or attempts to persecute them. Uh, and these uh, obviously uh, was not uh, something that should have ever happened, uh, and and we are very pleased uh, that uh, all that is now past. Uh, I know there are some legacy issues. Uh, some, uh, you know, people may still feel uh, that there are restrictions. Uh, we can assure you, as a government, uh, that we don't feel that way, and we've been very open, uh, transparent accountable uh, in terms of our policies, in terms of our agenda. Uh, we had a budget process that you would have realized uh, after so many years. Uh, the information uh, that was put out to the media was seamless. The process was seamless. We did things on time. And, and we feel very happy uh, about the way in which the media has done this. FBC, uh, of course, uh, has, a, has a very long history of service uh, to our country. Uh, it always uh, played a very, very important role in the social, economic, uh, cultural uh, fabric of our country. Uh, there are uh, many stories about FBC, about its history. Uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, over the last several years, uh, it was turned into a propaganda machine, a uh, propaganda mouthpiece of the, uh, the previous government. Uh, and I have no hesitation uh, in saying that, uh, that, you know, I'm, I'm not blaming uh, any journalist or people who work for FBC, uh, but uh, it was turned into a absolute you know, propaganda mouthpiece of the previous government. And we are today very pleased uh, that uh, you as an organization, FBC as an organization, we have a very good uh, team of you know, competent uh, you know, uh, board members, uh, people who believe in the independence of the media. Uh, some of them personally you know, fought uh, for that. Uh, and we are very pleased uh, that they are now at the helm of the FBC uh, in terms of uh, the board. We have a very competent uh, CEO uh, who himself, you know, has over the years, uh, you know, demonstrated uh, the, the way in which the media should operate, and we are very pleased. And I want to uh, take this opportunity to thank um, all the staff uh, management uh, and the way in which you have transitioned yourself uh, from a very difficult period, 
uh, from a very difficult hole, uh, you know, in terms of media freedom and the conduct of what ought to have happened, you know, in a, in a real democracy. Uh, and I want to thank you for that. Uh, we also, as a government, we recognize the important role that all other media organizations play in this country. Uh, and as a government, not only with respect to media organizations, we as a government want to ensure that there is fairness, there is uh, transparency and accountability in how the government deals with not only media organizations, but the private sector, businesses, uh, NGOs, every other organization, that is what a government should be able to do in a democracy. With respect to uh, public service uh, broadcast, and I want to thank the chairman for laying out the, the uh, immediate, uh, uh, you know, attempt, you know, over the last six months to bring FBC back to uh, that semblance of open, transparent, you know, management. Uh, and uh, also to look at the cost structure. Uh, and I'm pleased that uh, he has uh, mm. announced that they can work within a 40% reduction uh, of the allocation. $10.4 million uh, total has been allocated for public service broadcast. And uh, we believe that that uh, amount is for all media organizations, uh, whether it's TV or um, uh, radio. Uh, and that the Ministry of Finance will work in an appropriate way uh, as to how that is done. Uh, of course, you know, FBC uh, uh, is uh, going to be an important uh, organization. Uh, it has a history. Uh, it can deliver, as the chairman has said, that there are areas where uh, no other media organization uh, would be able to reach. Uh, out, you know, in terms of public service broadcast, and we appreciate that. So, um, uh, as uh, the Prime Minister has always said since the uh, formation of the government, uh, that uh, we uh, have, are going to take a very consultative approach. Uh, we are going to work with the people. Uh, we believe that there is a lot of wisdom, and knowledge, experience, that resides outside of government, and it is the government's job uh, to bring in the best people, uh, listen to them, uh, and work towards a national development agenda uh, that is ultimately going to be in the best interest of our people. And we uh, look forward to um, working with uh, not only FBC, but with all other media organizations uh, to ensure that we not only have a healthy democracy, uh, but also a media organization uh, or media environment where you know people like us, you know government and other public officials uh, can be held to account uh, in an appropriate and uh, an open transparent manner. So thank you, thank uh, you. Mr. Chairman uh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. and board members, uh, CEO and management. Uh, thank you for all the good work that you've done so far and we appreciate it very much.